Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back. Today is what I've been warming Wednesday. Well, actually it's Tuesday, but I filmed this on Tuesday and I uploaded it on Wednesday. So I'm going to go through the things that I have warmed throughout the last week and provide warm reviews on those scents. So I've got my basket kind of stacked into stacks next to me here of what I've warmed in each room. And we'll go through the open layout first. Um, Cause I went through the most bars there. So the first thing I did was a mix of vanilla bean no buttercream and spiced ember glow. And spiced ember glow is like a toasted apple cinnamon. It's got, it's complex and it's so pretty and it is very spicy in my opinion. But it's really, really pretty and unique in a lot of ways. And I wanted to bring out more of that unique note in it than the spice. So I mixed a bunch of vanilla bean buttercream with it. So I think I did two cubes of vanilla bean buttercream to one cube spiced ember glow. Um, so a two to one mix. And I did that in two different warmers in my open layout. And it was strong and lovely. And I really, really liked that mix. I will mix that again. I might try sugar cookie as well. I think the two to one mix was good. If you like the spiciness of Spiced Ember Glow, you could take it down to one to one, but I really liked the um, two to one mix. So Vanilla Bean Buttercream is like a nice sweet buttercream frosting scent. It's a really great mixer, which is what we did here, <laughs> and Spiced Ember Glow. The cinnamon for me on its own was a little bit red hot like, so that's why I mixed it and mixing it made it like perfect. I will do that mix again. I highly recommend it. Next, I did just some blue sage and tonka, two cubes and two warmers in my open layout. And this one is lavender, sage and tonka. And it's like a fresh, slightly masculine, woodsy cologne, but not overly strong. And I wouldn't say it's overly cologne-like either. It's more just like a woodsy, cozy type clean scent. It's like a woodsy clean. Yeah, it's nice. I like this one a lot. It's a good like cool evening scent. Um, I really like this one. Next I warmed one of the bars from the Harvest Trio and it is Cranberry Pumpkin Spice. I'll put the notes below but I think it's like Cranberry Pumpkin and Spice. This was the one that I liked the most on cold from the Harvest Trio and it's nice. It's a fairly, I wouldn't say it's unique it's a spiced pumpkin with just a tiny bit of sweetness. And I would say there's almost a little bit of like foodiness or bakery note to it. I would put it in the bakery category, maybe spice, but probably more bakery. Yeah, I like it. I did two cubes in my open layout in each warmer and it was not very strong there. I would say this one is probably not open layout worthy if you're gonna melt it there. I would save it for smaller spaces to get better use out of it because it was very light in the open layout and it only lasted a day and that was at a very light intensity even then. So yes, I would say bakery, a little bit of pumpkin and a significant amount of spice, cinnamon specific, I think, but yes. So cranberry pumpkin spice, this one for me is just okay. I don't know that this would be a repurchase for me and it probably won't go into my club, but it's nice and I will melt the rest of it in smaller spaces to get better use out of it. Next I melted some salted caramel buttercream from the Sensationals wax like that you get at Walmart. I did two cubes in one of my open layout warmers. And this one is strong. It kind of reminds me of caramel apple craze from Scentsy with maybe just a little bit more caramel um, and a little bit more sweetness. So the salted caramel buttercream, I smell caramel apple in this for sure. Um, it doesn't say that there's apple, but there probably is, I think. Um, it's a good scent and strong, like extremely strong to the point where I unplugged this warmer because I couldn't smell the other stuff that I had going. So I wanted to be able to provide good scent reviews for the scentsy stuff. So I unplugged this, but this one is Really nice, really strong. If you're gonna melt this, I'd melt it on its own because it will overpower anything you have going. So I can't say about the longevity yet because it's still going. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
salted caramel buttercream from Sensationals. I probably would repurchase that. And then Saturday, I put in this combination. I did first day of fall with salted caramel toffee. So first day of fall is like a woodsy, woodsy, like I get cedar, like trees, like dried leaves. It's a very dry, slightly spicy, but mostly just dry outdoorsy scent with like, I think a little bit of apple maybe. It's got some sweetness, but it's in no way foodie. It's like outdoorsy, but sweet fall. It's a nice one, but it does have a little bit of an intensity to it that I wanted to tone down and sweeten up a little bit. So I mixed salted caramel toffee and I did one to one. So I did one cube of each in three warmers in my open layout. Yeah, and salted caramel toffee on its own, to me in the container on cold, smells like it would be like a light medium. So I didn't expect a lot of intensity out of this. First day of fall on cold is a fairly medium strong scent in my opinion. But on warm, initially out the gate, salted caramel toffee overpowered first day of fall. But it was still really nice. It was a nice mix. And I would say like salted caramel toffee was like here, first day of fall was here. And then as time went on, it kind of like switched. So I feel like first day of fall lasts longer and salted caramel toffee really petered out quickly. But I liked all phases of this melt. So this I went, I did for two days and I'm going to change my wax here right away. So it lasted a good three days. I could have changed it late last night, but I didn't bother. So three days. Today would be the fourth and it, it, it it's dead, but <laughs> yes. So I would recommend this mix. Salted caramel toffee is a nice mixer, but be aware that it is much stronger than you might think it is based on the cold sniff. Yeah. And it was really nice, but yeah, it definitely did a little switcheroo as time went on. And it was fine because I like both of these scents. So it didn't matter where in the balance it was, it was all good to me. So I liked that mix. I would probably do that again. Next up in my office here, we did Jack's Obsession. I did two cubes in my little glisten warmer right there. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I'm trying to point it. There we go. There it is, my glisten warmer. Um, so Jack's Obsession. It's like a tart, maybe green spiced, spiced cinnamon apple. And it's pretty simple in that way. And it's a nice one. It's reasonably strong and this one lasted forever. I just changed this right before, no, I changed this this morning before I went to like work at the office. And this one lasted like all week. So it wasn't overly strong as of yesterday, but you could still sort of smell remnants of it when you walked into the room. So this one lasted a really, really long time. I could have changed it sooner. I just wasn't spending a lot of time in this room. So I let it go until this morning. So I have changed it now. By the way, I have changed it to Orchard Apple and Spice. And I'll give a full review of this on Warm in my next week's video because I just started this this morning. So I don't know how long it's going to last. I still think this smells a little bit cat pee-ish on cold. And I said that in my last, in my haul video. And I will tell you, I don't get that on Warm at all. In fact, I walked into this room when I came in to film this and I was like, oh, it smells really nice in here. So I get like, not a whole lot of spice. I get cherry and like a fruitiness. It's like a fruity cherry, slightly fall kind of warm scent. I really like it so far. Um, I don't know that I'd put it in open layout again. I don't know that it's strong enough, but it's like a solid medium here in my little office. So this one has changed my opinion and I like it. Orchard apple and spice. Um, next up, in my daughter's room she has had a cold so i have done two cubes of hundred acre wood because it's fairly light in her room and i've had that going all week i haven't changed her wax because i don't want anything to irritate her throat or her chest or anything like that so we have just been sitting with this same little two cubes of hundred acre wood in her room it is now a weekend and it's mostly dead like you can't walk into the room and smell oh there's a wax melt going in here but you can smell something and i think it's a little bit of this lingering. So while you can't identify what scent it is or what it smells like, there is like 
something when you walk into the room. And it's, it's this, and it's not very strong. But to be able to smell it at all after a week is pretty impressive, I think, especially when I usually change this one after like a day or two, because this one is on the lighter side. And it's like a clean, a little bit powdery, gentle, like sleepy. It smells like a little kid's bath scent. Like if you could get this in like a kid's bubble bath, I probably would for my daughter because it's a great little kid scent, I think. Um, but yeah, it's usually kind of a light medium performer in her room um, and a day or two, but we're a week in and you can still kind of smell it when you walk in. And I'll probably change it soon because she is starting to feel a bit better, so. There's that one. Then in our room, I did this Artisan Collection Lavender and White Sage from Candle Warmers. And I usually have really good luck with Candle Warmers wax. They're usually good for me. I haven't tried their Artisan Collection before. This is new. I was just like really craving a lavender scent. This is Lavender and White Sage. And Sensi doesn't have a whole lot for lavender. And so I just picked this up. And it smells nice. It's a fairly like herbal lavender and it's nice. That being said, on warm, I did two cubes in my bedroom warmer. It was nice, but it wasn't very strong. I would say light, maybe like a four or five out of 10. And it lasted five hours. I got an evening out of it. And then when I went to start it the next day, it just wouldn't get going. Like it wouldn't put out smell. So we got five hours out of it for the two cubes. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this particular bar for that reason. That being said, it is a nice lavender scent. I just wish it performed better. And usually candle warmers do perform well. Just this particular one did not for me. And that's a disappointment because it's like almost $7 a bar, which is like the same price as Scentsy. So that was disappointing. But it did kind of satisfy that lavender craving I had. So that was nice. Next, I did two cubes of stargazing in our room. And this one I did for two days, maybe two and a half. This one's nice. I get like patchouli. It's floral. I think the notes are like star kiss petals and vanilla clouds and like a laundry clean linen scent or something. Cotton blossom. And you do get that, but it's like a sort of a cozy patchouli. It's not floral. Like when you think of like white kiss petals, you think jasmine and lily and those sorts of things. And I don't smell those in here. This is like a very cozy, sweet, laundry, cotton, but with a lot of like deeper woodsy notes to it. Like that patchouli and stuff I think, that I think is in here, grounding it. I like this one a lot. It performs really well for me. I think you could do this in an open layout. And I always get a pretty long melt out of this. And it does pretty well in our bedroom. I would say medium strong. It's a good one. That one is in my club. Next, I finished my bar of French Kiss, which I felt okay about because I have another one coming in my Scentsy Club here soon. So this was June Bring Back My Bar. And this one is like fig, maybe sandalwood. I'll put the notes below. There's fig in here for sure though. It's really pretty. It's a very like earthy, grounded, comfortable, but feminine scent. There's almost like a little bit of a perfumey quality, but it's still really just soft. And this one's nice because it's not overpowering, which is why I like to melt it in the bedroom, um, but it does last a really long time. So I usually get about three days out of this one. Um, and in my bedroom, I don't have the warmer going 24 hours a day. So that's like maybe 12 hours a day, 10 hours a day. Um, for three days, so like 30 hours-ish. But it stays at kind of a fairly even intensity and it doesn't go down quickly. So I like that about this one. It's just kind of a nice light medium background scent, but it's just really pretty. I love this one. That one is in my club too. Um, next I did in the bathrooms. Keep it sassy. This one, if you watched my what I've been melting video a couple weeks ago, I had done this in my open layout and I didn't care for it there. It was too sweet, too strong, and just not a scent I liked in my open layout. That being said, yeah, I've been doing this one in the bathroom and I like it a lot there. It is reasonably strong. It lasts a couple days and it's still a very young, perfumey, 
sweet cloying scent but in the bathroom it works it is on the fresh side it does have like a fresh almost aquatic note to it it also has some melon notes to it i think there is some perfuminess to it it's hard to explain it's like a fruity floral but like it works in the bathroom i think it's nice there um it just feels like it is the right smell for that space if that makes any sense um but yeah keep it sassy i won't repurchase but i am enjoying the rest of my bar in the bathroom next i did some red pear and pomegranate in my daughter's bathroom this one is on the strong side so i did i think one cube yeah one cube in her mini warmer in the bathroom and it was strongly scented like coming outside of the bathroom even for about three days i think it was yeah and this one on cold i don't care for it because it reminds me of black currant bubbly um it is a strong fruity scent though so if fruity scents are your jam and you love them this is a nice one and it's not tropical in any way so it makes it a little bit more seasonal appropriate for fall and winter um i probably won't, won't repurchase this one because it's just not my favorite but it is nice in the bathroom and it's a strong performer as well so give that a try if you like fruity ones it does perform well just not my cup of tea and next in the bathroom i use sweet but fierce now this is a scent that i really like and if this one performed well for me i would put this in my club it's really pretty it's like a sweet soft violet like a it's very pretty soft and feminine a little bit sweet i love this and it's even prettier warming some of those sweet notes come out more i just really like this um that being said i can't get this to perform in my bathroom it did okay i got two days out of it and it was light like very light you could sort of smell something when you walked into the room um but you couldn't identify what it was it was just sort of a pleasant scent um I wish this threw better for me in my house it just doesn't so yeah um i'll probably melt the rest in the bedroom because i just really want it to work <laughs> so i'm going to try to keep melting in different places um but yeah so far performance on this one's been very light and i would say average duration but like really light like really light so yeah it's a shame i love this one beautiful scent i think they need to go back to the drawing board though with most of this collection and um revamp them i think um let me know how the performance has been for you with the glamorous you collection bars a lot of the videos i'm watching are people saying similar things they're finding most of them very light um scent appeal is just kind of okay for most people although there are a few that really like them i will say that they are different from a lot of the things since he has done which i appreciate that being said this feels like a weird time of year for these bars i think someone else mentioned that too um these don't feel like fall bars to me these feel like late spring or like early spring i'm thinking like march to may would have been a good time to release these when you're just not ready for like tropical summer yet but you want something very like different and new yeah i think that would have been a better time for these that being said yeah probably won't repurchase these ones um the last thing i warmed in my bedroom was fairy tale pumpkin and this one yeah this one is i think raspberry dark berries and pumpkin and something else i'll put the notes below but this one on cold to me smelled like blueberry muffins like bakery blueberry a bakery blueberry scent like blueberry muffins and on warm at first it did too this was a scent that at first i thought wow this scent is very much what you see is what you get because i melted it in my in my bedroom because that's usually a fairly consistent warming space for me so i thought at first i was like okay for the first eight hours i was like this is exactly what i smelled on cold it's blueberry muffins it's really good it's pretty strong i would say it was medium strong on warm this little sample cup had it coming out down the hallway so that's unusual so this is a medium strong scent um and it lasted a really long time so performance wise this one was great and i liked it overall it was good performance was great and over time it did change so it went from blueberry muffin to more just blueberry with some blackberry maybe i started getting more berry and less bakery so the bakery burnt off before the berry did so 
at the end of this one for like the last two days of this one. I think I got three days out of this one. It lasted a long time. Um, it was more just blueberry currant. It kind of, there was a period of time where it was reminding me sort of of vanilla blackberry from last month. It was reminding me of the same blackberry note in here. Um, it wasn't, it doesn't smell like vanilla blackberry, but the same blackberry note from vanilla blackberry, I was kind of getting whiffs of that in here as well. So I liked it. It lasted a really long time. It was kind of a weird scent for the bedroom. <laughs> Blueberry muffin bakery. I don't usually do a lot of heavy bakeries in my bedroom, um, but it performed really well. I think you could do this in an open layout quite nicely. Um, and I probably will get a couple bars of this. For me, I don't know, like performance wise, it was great. For me personally though, Scent Appeal was just okay. I like it, I like it just fine, but I don't know that I need a nine bar consultant kit of it, if that makes sense. So I liked it, I'll get more and it performed really well. So I would say thumbs up, it's a good scent. Um, I still think Fairy Tale Pumpkin's a weird name for it because at no point during the burn did I get pumpkin from this ever. So yeah, for a berry bakery scent, it's delicious. Pumpkin? People are going to be disappointed if they're expecting pumpkin. But it's a good scent, performed well, no complaints. All right, that is what I've been warming this week. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.